hello guys welcome um, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove view scan watermark uh, I'm going to use the view scan 9.4 um, I have written blog post about this in my blog um, and I noticed many people have come to my blog looking for this and I got many comments and uh, some people have said it was not working for them and some people have said it's working for them so here yeah, I have got the comments see uh, Ubuntu uh, so some people have commented you can see it works perfectly thanks a lot uh, and some have said there's no work and uh, I followed your instructions and it works no watermark anymore thank you and see you can see it has worked for some people and it has not worked for some people so I decided uh, you know I, I can't reply to every comment I'm getting so I decided I should make this video to show you how it works and how to remove this watermark easily so I'm going to start it from the beginning I will just download the file from here in the link uh, it's just a 16 MB file you can download the file easily I have it already so I will just go to my fold and uh, here it is I will just extract it here extract here and hold on it's still extracting my PC is a little bit slow so I have this folder now when I go to it it has this key folder and two versions of it you can see the two versions of oh, the first one is for 32 bit uh, operating systems you can see it x 32 and the other is for obviously 64 bit uh, so if you have a 64 bit operating system just install this and 32 bit you have to install this one and inside this key folder you have the details you need to enter in the software to activate it let's see it later uh, for now I have a 64 bit operating system so I will just double click on it and it, uh, install this one uh, it might take some time and uh, it's asking me would you like to install this device software yes install and I will just wait a few minutes to complete it, get complete the installation. So it's done, guys. Um, you can close this one. It is not much important. Mm, this is this is important. You'll have to see if your device has been recognized because you know some old uh, scanners are not been direct But ViewScan is really great. It detects all the old version, old models, scanner models. So uh, it has detected it. Perfection 600 is my Epson scan, very old one. Um, <coughs> so I'm already there now. I will just. Uh, do some scanning yeah we can scan but let's see how it goes it is loading take some time to scan the image You can see the scan is completed and it says me not that files you create will have an embedded watermark and this watermark is permanent and cannot be removed later it says I since I have not purchased view scan it will have a watermark here would you like to purchase view scan now um, not now I'll just click on no button 
and the scanning is done guys after you scan the last page press the last page button i don't know why is that but it asked me to click on this last page button i click on it and uh, i will it opens it um you can see the watermark is there everywhere many watermarks the image is pretty useless so uh, let's just close this one for the moment and uh, i will just um, select the area i want have it and uh, now if i save this one it will have the watermark so uh, what i have to do is go to help menu and go to about there you have to do your uh, details so to get the details you have to go to this folder and inside the key folder you have this key dot text you just open it and uh, it might not be clear at the first so I, I have put some line breaks and made it into a clear version here and uh, you have this email address serial number and customer number it is what asking this prompt you can just copy and paste this there I will copy email address yeah oh serial number and customer so as soon as you finish entering these details it will show you ok because the values are correct so you can just click on continue and we can now save the image let's see uh, sorry it has created the files hold on you can see it has created these two files because the uh, this is the last one I made. Let's see how it is. Uh, you can see it still has the watermark. So even after entering the license details, I still get the watermark. So that's the main problem many of the people who have commented in my blog had. So uh, let's see what we can do. So if you still get the watermark what you have to do is guys uh, let's try to disconnect from internet and see if it will work I will just disconnect my Wi-Fi and yeah it's disconnected now let's uh, go to help menu and go to about you can see the details have disappeared you will have to enter them again so I will just copy the same details again and I will enter them here paste and serial number and customer number okay i will click on continue and i will uh, save it and see <coughs> so see this must be the last file i will open it and see oh you still have the watermark um, Let's see what has happened. Uh, I will just delete it, these two files just to make sure the files are not being overwritten or anything with that. We'll go here and I will just save it again here. And I have this one. We'll open it. Ah, you can see the watermark is gone. So it's not clear and um, it's the final image you want. So. I guess it's clear for you guys. This is really easy. What you have to do is just disconnect from the internet. And it will you if you go back to this help and about menu you can see the details are still there. So that means the internet connection is the problem. So if you disconnect from internet everything will be fine. So I hope this is clear you guys and this will help you uh, this will help many of you because I have seen many people have commented because they did not understand what to do now you know what to do so I hope this will help you and uh, if you like this video please click on like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you